if I'm fixing it, I'm filming it. Well, hello. Um, today we have a 2007 Honda Fit. And my uh, subscriber tells me she was driving it on the street and all of a sudden it stopped. Um, they got a boost and it went for a little bit while and then it stopped again. So more than likely, pretty sure it's an alternator. But we're going to do a few simple tests. I did plug in my OBD tester and it did come up with a low voltage and of course a whole bunch of other codes just because of the low voltage. So don't look at all of the codes you just have to make sure well what was the first one and this one says charging system low voltage so I cleared the codes so and uh, I also have another test we can do and this is a very handy item really cheap seventy eighty dollars and what we can do is just simply hook it up Okay. So let's just do a battery test just for the heck of it. Uh, we want to set it to cold cranking amps and press enter to start. And it was a 500 cold cranking amp, so yeah, it's good. It's 100% good. So why don't we get out of this, why don't we go and do a, I could do a charging system test with this tester. So let's try that. It says, uh, please start the car first. And it says press enter. And it's doing a countdown. So right now I can tell it's not doing good. The alternator should be pushing out more voltage than the battery. So right now it's just normal is around 15, between 13.3 volts and 15, and we are getting 11.8. So it's definitely uh, an alternator problem. So let's get that fixed. First things first, well, go get yourself an alternator. And uh, you could take the old one off first and take it there because, well, believe it or not, it's only worth $10 a core price. So, you know, it's not a heck of a lot. I think the starter cost us, and this is a remanufactured starter, cost $260. And uh, if we take uh, the old one back, we get $10 off. So it'll be $250 plus tax. That's Canada, and that is July the 10th. And while you're at it, since you got things apart, you might as well replace the serpentine belt. The belt was $32, so may as well get it replaced while, you, while we have things apart. Uh, first thing we have to do is disconnect that battery. So, uh, right here is the alternator. For us to get to that, we've got to remove this doohickey, I think that's the EGR valve. So uh, let's get that off. This should come out. Okay. And your gasket, don't forget your little gasket. Okay, so there's the alternator. Okay, old alternator out, new one in, and like I said, I'm not going to show you how to change the alternator on this Honda Fit. There's a lot of examples, but let's just say uh, it's not an easy job. There's a lot of a lot of tight things in there, but it's it's possible. I thought for sure I was going to have to remove the engine, but no. Okay, so like I said, I also replaced the serpentine belt too while we're at it. So why don't we? Check out my tool now. Let's see what it says. We'll go. To, we'll go to charging system. And wait. Let's start it up. Okay. 
press enter. Oh yeah, look at that. You know, we were at what, way under 12 volts. Now we're around the 14. And that's what you should have. So uh, above normal, which is perfect. So there you go. That was, uh, it was harder to actually change the alternator than to do the test, but should be fine and dandy now. So um, a great little tool there. And uh, I've cleared the error codes. I've taken it for a test drive and it seems to be working really good now. So, hey, good luck with your repair.